Hi viewers, I haven't seen many videos on the subject so I thought I'd uh, share my own experiences on cost averaging with your silver and gold. Now for those who've been uh, long time subscribers know that I've been a long term stacker and uh, that's why I thought uh, my opinion might be useful to some of you who may be new to precious metals. Anyway, uh, back I think it was in uh, about 2012-2013, which is where all these silver coins are from. That era, the Lunar Snake. Dragon, I think the Dragon was 2012, yeah I remember that one well, very popular. Koala, not sure, well that's a 2012. The Panda, that's definitely a 2012, I recognise that because 2013, I think, is the only one that had three pandas in it. Um, that's the 2013. Oh, the Armenian Noah's Ark. Which, uh, for those who haven't seen the Noah's Ark, yeah, they've been around a long time. The sunlight's coming in my window now. Oh, the Somali elephant. Uh, what year was that one? It probably says on the other side. I think uh, I think they're still making these. Yeah, 2013. But yeah, so back around um, I, I can't remember the exact year, but 2012, 2013. I think silver was at 50 dollars an ounce, or it might have been just before that. But those coins I bought around those two years. Now, if I'd have just bought hundreds or even a thousand. <laughs> um, coins in those couple years and then stopped stacking I wouldn't be in the position I'm in today with it because uh, obviously at that point in time those coins were expensive because silver prices were up and now by you know carrying on stacking uh, when silver dropped to I don't know what did it drop to 15, well I think it was 15 pounds an ounce, I don't know what that was in dollars, maybe it did drop to 15 dollars an ounce, I can't remember, but you know, I think it was, I don't know, 2015 or something, you know, it, it dropped, and of course, um, you know, but buying then as well, which I obviously did, which I haven't got those <laughs> coins on out for you, um, it then reduced the cost of these, because the next lot I bought, you know, were cheaper, you know, because I carried on buying uh, as the prices went down, it therefore brought the price of these down because of the, the cost average of, um, you know, the, the varying prices. So now on to the gold. Uh, these pieces in the centre here were all bought uh, when gold was uh, considerably uh, less than it is today in 2023 and several of these pieces in fact I bought literally at melt from my LCS uh, this is Russian one being one of those pieces um, and this quarter ounce gold eagle was also bought at melt from my LCS and it has uh, featured in another video because this one originally had Elvis on it. Uh, and this $5 was also from my LCS. Right at Melt. Uh, the Indian head I bought off of uh, a YouTuber who's uh, now more active on Instagram. And the two... Uh, Libertads, um, I can't remember where I got them from, I got them from the States I think, uh, always wanted to get the one ounce to go with these two but uh, not got it yet because you know with gold prices the way they are this uh, 81 uh, Libertad is horrendous premium on it. Anyway so those were all bought when gold was um, I don't know, between 1300 and 1500 an ounce. Um, now on to uh, these pieces here, which you see here. Now these are all 2022 
22, 2021, 20, I think my buffalo is 2021, and 2022 for the Britannias. Oh, I can't see the year. Yeah, it is there somewhere. Yeah. And, uh, and obviously the double sovereign and the sovereigns are all 2022, uh, which obviously gold is uh, much higher <laughs> than it was back then. Uh, so it's uh, kind of the reverse of silver. Um, what you've got there is the cheaper gold. Uh, and obviously, uh, yeah, we'd all say, yeah, I wish I'd bought more back then. <laughs> um, and then obviously this more expensive gold. Now, I do, I do remember the buffalo cost me $19.20. And uh, I think gold at the time was about 1800 had a hundred and twenty dollar premium on it, something like that. Um, and I can't remember what the Britannias were and the sovereigns, but obviously gold price was a, a lot. I mean, okay, the buffalo. I'm kind of a break even on that one now. <laughs> uh, don't think I am with these with these sovereigns. Um, because of the premium on them, I'm kind of. A bit iffy on those <laughs> but because I bought all this gold between you know say 1300 and 1700 it's balanced out the costs uh, of these more expensive pieces you know and you average those two together um, it brings in a lower price than could today's current uh, gold price now there are two ways to uh, look at cost averaging. Uh, one of them is to just continually buy, which uh, I do anyway, I continually buy. I haven't bought much this year yet, but um, I hope to at some point. Um, so one way is to continually buy, and another way, which I have always done, is to... Um, buy more than you actually want and then when the price goes up a bit you can flip those spare ones you know for example um, you know like the Lunar Dragons I'd have bought half a dozen of them kept one for myself uh, or two for myself and then you know sold on the others as the price uh, went up or the collectability went up therefore that would uh, bring my dollar cost average down even more um, so my silver is a pro I mean, this is quite approximate but I have kept a I have <laughs> Eagle helped me do a spreadsheet and we did um, calculate my dollar cost average on silver uh, not just because I bought it over that long term but because, because I've also sold off some of the more collectible pieces have brought my dollar cost average down to about twelve dollars, which is ten pound an ounce. So, so I'm I'm more than happy with that. Uh, but with my gold, I was buying that from. Uh, I can't remember. It was about nine. Was it nine hundred pounds an ounce? When I really started getting into buying gold, because I was predominantly into silver. Um. So my dollar cost average on my gold, when we done the spreadsheet, was, which was uh, 2020, so like three years ago, was about, um, I think it was about 1500 But because of these more recent purchases, my dollar cost average on my gold has gone up like 1750 now. So, so I'm getting at the point where, oh, do I really want to be buying any more gold? <laughs> because uh, my dollar cost average has shot up, unlike the silver, which has uh, gone down. So, um, so I'm, you know, I've, I've still got my head above water on, on both metals, which is <laughs> always a good thing. But anyway, let me know your experiences with uh, dollar cost averaging. Um, I know one of my friends, he, he was literally predominantly into buying eagles and he just stacked hundreds and hundreds of eagles. And of course, uh, 
at the moment uh, they've got a massive premium I know he did sell uh, you know a, a monster box <laughs> to buy a new truck for himself but um, you know so that's one way of dollar cost averaging but I also like to turn around some of my silver to bring my cost averaging down on uh, the rest of it and I have done it a few times on the gold but like I say I'm still at about I reckon 1750 so anyway let me know your thoughts down in the comments and uh, hope you found today's video informative and I'll catch you on the next one Thanks for watching. Bye.